Hi, welcome to my review of Adventure for Atari 2600. Adventure was developed for the Atari console in 1979. It was the first action-adventure game that was released. It was one of the first games that has an ending screen and it lets you continue your adventure if you die. So let's start with the review. The objective of the game is very simple. You must retrieve the magical chalice and bring it back in the golden castle. When you do that, you finish the game and you see one of the first ending screens in history. The dragons in the game try to stop you by swallowing you whole. If this happens, you can continue your game by pressing the reset switch. You will start in the golden castle. All the items will be in the position that you leave them. But if you have slain a dragon with a sword, they will be resurrected when you continue the game. The sword looks like an arrow, but trust me, it's the sword. In easy mode, there are two dragons that chase you, the green and the yellow, two castles that you must travel to, and the blue labyrinth. Also, you have to find the keys for the two castles. In medium difficulty, you have three dragons, the yellow, the green, and the red, that guards the magical chalice. There is also a bat that steals your items and gives you other random items. This is very frustrating and the many times hinders your progress because you must find the items that the bat has stolen from you. The new areas that you must travel are the catacombs, the labyrinth, the Great Dragon, and the White Castle. There are many items in the game. The sword, the magnet, the bridge, which allows you to travel through some walls, and the keys of every castle. In hard difficulty, all the areas are the same, but all the items are randomly placed in the level, so it adds some replay value. Be careful, however, there is a bug in hard difficulty that prevents you from finishing the game. It allows the golden key to be placed inside the golden castle. Adventure was one of the first games that has an easter egg. There is a hidden room in the game in which the creator is credited for the game. The characters are large and the dragon's mouth and the bat are animated. However, I wish your character didn't look like a square. In the sound department, there are some sounds like the attack of the dragons and the sound that you pick up an item. But the game is too quiet most of the time. The controls are simple. You move your character with a joystick and you leave items by pressing the red button. You pick up items by touching them. Overall, I think Adventure is a very original game. It's basically the ancestor of games like The Legend of Zelda and a very important piece of gaming history. The hard mode and the bat adds replay value, but I wish that the game was larger. I finished the game on normal in 15 minutes. I give Adventure a 9 out of 10. I think it's a true classic. I'm Steph Knight and see you next time.